so let's take a look at how you can create a react application with stack blitz go to stackblitz.com so you can see the spelling over here stack blitz and then dot com and you will find screen something similar to this okay in future if you are seeing this video after 2018 say in 2019 or so then this page may be different than what it is right now while i have recorded it okay so this page currently shows option to start project in angular react ionic and a few other types such as react typescript angular.js javascript without any framework typescript blank project angular auth0 react auth0 okay so here we are basically creating a react project and so i'm going to click on this before that you know that you can also sign in using github and then store your project into github as a repository or you can import some repository and work on that project as well so click on this react javascript for creating project in react okay once you click it will immediately load a window that shows index.js and output of that is visible on the right hand side bar okay so here the name is set to react let's change this into devnami okay so here you see change immediately reflected and here you see index html hello js so this hello js shows how your name is selected from index js and is visible in h1 on our page okay so this was for hello js when you add that component into your index okay so it shows the state with the current name set to devnami now keeping all the code aside on the left hand side you can see you have file explorer so stack blitz gives you option to check all the files that are in your project you can also check dependencies you have react and react on dependency by default so your project is pretty much frugal notice that you don't have your package.json accessible here unlike code sandbox but you can create one and you can access that but for that i think the best option would be to export your project when you do so and do npm in it it should create package.json at that time on your desktop as you can see you can sign into github and store this code or you can import or export repository you also have fork option if you have existing project you can fork that then you have save option for which i think you need to have account here also you can use github sign in for that as well now here you can see one more option is opening this code in new window so new tab is open where you can see your project has some random characters and stored on some subdomain this remains your own property if you have signed in and created a project if you don't save these changes and if you don't hold these changes into some project which is saved on github or on stack bits then these changes will be reverted back to default and you won't own this to subdomain anymore okay so for a simple static site with your projects such as this would be a good option to host it from stack blitz but i don't recommend that okay then next thing is to check out dependencies option and external resources so when you want to add additional packages let's say bootstrap or any other npm module you can simply add that and hit enter 
And if it appears in here, then you can see that it would let you use that within your React project. Okay, similarly, external resources here you can enter JavaScript, CSS, or any CDN URL that you want to use here. Okay. Similarly, you have your option for hot reload and page reload. Hot reload will immediately display the changes and page reload will require the page to be reloaded. Okay, similarly, there is a debugging option. You can enable or disable it. Then finally, as I told you before, you have option to create new files and folders from this file explorer. Similarly, you can also export this, get as zip, then extract that zip, and then get your entire project to run on your local machine with npm in it and then npm run dev or npm run okay so this was a small demonstration on how you can create a react project from stack plates and how you can further use some of the options given to you from stack plates.